Here is my beautiful brick of Tesla modules. I'm still in love with it. Girlfriend hasn't quite got jealous yet. Maybe she doesn't know the depth of my love. Anyhow, what I'm doing this for is to show you how you can get on and use the BMS taps without using the Tesla cell board. So that's full of complicated information and is exceptionally useful if you've decoded it as Jack Rickard of EVTV has. Um, but if you're just an average Joe and haven't actually got around to doing that or don't want to pay for Jack Rickard's thing, you can get a board that replaces the Tesla one with all its chips on it and instead just gives you the outputs. So this one I got from Zero EV in the UK. You can get them also from a couple of other places. Um, and that gives you, as it's shown here, the negative and then the positive for each of the six cells in this 6S module. On the, I think the inner of these Molex pins and then the outer or the other row is ground, nothing, and then the two temperature sensors. One of which is here, the other one is down there. So, that's all beautiful. But how do you get this guy off? If you'll pardon the phrase. Um, so, you have to remove this and it's held on by these four little plastic rivets. They're like little barb connectors with a, a centre that pulls out a lot like a lot of trim on cars. We were trying to be careful with them but we couldn't get a good enough grip so we actually end up slightly mullering the ends when we grab them with the pliers and just pop them out. So they're now loose. And then we found that the barbs themselves, there's no access to most of them, so you can't crush them from behind. But if you just either pull there or get a little plastic lever and pull behind here, they'll come out. Now, be super careful because if you haven't unplugged your ribbon, you are going to damage your ribbon. And with a nice little insulating tool such as this, you can get that disconnected before you start pulling on the board. So, in order to risk damaging this horribly, I'm going to have my buddy hold the camera while I attempt to do this. Also, as you can see, the plastic covers, if you turn the battery the way up so that the terminals are underneath, you can get this one off and get a goodie, good access to it all. So I'm probably going to block the camera while I do this. <laughs> right, so you need to get the get this little clip back here. I don't know if you can see it on the screen. Try and get that. Funny, I can do this without a camera pointing at me. All right, maybe this is one where we do do editing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stop that. Well, we might as well keep it rolling. Okay, can go on then. At some point. I'm just wondering what I, what was different. Yeah, see the bits. All yeah. right, see ya. Ah, there we go. I've pulled that one out. So I've now got a bit more play. And I've dropped it on the ground. Oh, got the clip loosened there we go so yeah I was just pulling don't know if it's focusing if you can see I was pulling that little uh, little tab up so then that disconnects now that that's free I can pull the little plastic rivets out so there's two one two and you can maybe see what they look like Same down below. Three. Ah, I haven't pulled this guy out. I was going to show this on the video. So, right. get your get your tool. Squeeze hard. Don't be too afraid. There you go. That's the lock out, and then give it a little bit of a pull. Being careful because the ribbon is still connected here. There we go, that's free. So, now then, disconnect this. 
This is a tricky one. <laughs> no, it's not. I just messed it up the first time. Just press the top, wiggle a bit. Try and pull the connection up the cable if you can. That's free. This one here, can you see that I'm pushing that little tab back? There we go. So there's the Tesla board full of amazingness. And here's the basic pass through board. Full of nothing. So, it's that way up. We'll put the most robust connector in first. And then swear because we can't get to that one. So these ribbon connectors be really, really gentle with. They are probably the flimsiest connector around, or the flimsiest cable around, more importantly. There we go, that's in. That's in. Double check that one. Feels good. Riveted connector one. Two. Good to see that gravity is still working. I can rely be flying find things on the floor. Three. Four. Yep, I can count. That's not going in all the way, but we won't worry about it too badly. And then wrap it all up like you're packing bakery produce. So, how did this all go this, back together? This guy was folded underneath? It? No, it was over yeah. the top actually. Right. That's the tape was on it. All right. These guys just clicked like that, like that. Hmm, somebody with greasy fingers has been touching that. That's not sticking so good. Yeah, I'm pretty certain this was on the outside, but we can check on the other unmolested 12. And there you go, job done. We have successfully low-teched our BMS.